Welcome back to Tycon TV, and today we'll be going over our PS10 48 volt power supply. This power supply comes in 120 watt and 240 watt version. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box. And attempt to. There we go. Don't need that. Now, these are built with industrial strength in mind. Both have short circuit, over voltage, and over current protection. With its rugged design, compact size, and wide temperature operation, these are perfect for outdoor use. First things first, before we go over any bells and whistles, make sure to turn off the AC power before connecting this device. It can kill you. Between 90 to 260 volts AC, you need to take precaution and read our user guide before operating. Now that we have that out of the way, let's get into the guts of this thing. As I said, there's a wide range of VAC input and output ranges between 47 and 56 volts DC. These are great for PoE switches, high-powered security cameras, and different telecommunication devices. I also want to show you how one of these is connected, so while I give a little bit more information on the PS1048, I will put it together using one of our switches. This is our TP-SW4G-2SFP switch. It has a 12 to 57 VDC wire terminal connector. Make sure all stranded wires are secured in the terminal block to prevent short circuit. This will keep you and your equipment safe. Input cables must be properly fused. A manually controlled disconnect switch should be used to disconnect the unit from the AC supply mains. All output wires must be rated for 18 gauge or larger as well as connected to the correct polarity. Airflow is very important for this power supply. It is supposed to be DIN mounted to ensure proper airflow. That's why we have our handy DIN rail to make sure there's plenty of breathing room on both sides. For obvious reasons, keep the unit away from water. On the front of the power supply, you have a green LED indicator labeled DC OK. It lights up if the output voltage is more than 45 volts. It will turn red when there is an overload condition. The DC and OK connections at the top of the unit are a dry contact relay, which is closed when the DC output is normal and open when the DC output is faulty. The contact rating is 1 amp at 30 volts DC or 0.5 amps at 125 VAC. This can help trigger an alarm if the DC output fails. The single parallel use switch can be operated as a standalone or gain to provide additional power. When in parallel mode, the outputs are connected in parallel, plus to plus, and minus to minus to feed the load. 220 watt power supplies in parallel mode provide up to 240 watts of power to the load. There is a DC voltage adjustment on the front panel to make minor adjustments to the output voltage. Do not change single parallel switch position while the unit is powered up. Please make sure to disconnect power before changing the mode to avoid damage to the unit. Both units come with a 5 amp fuse on the AC input. It cannot be removed as it is not designed to be serviceable or replaceable. Always use commercial quality cables designed for the required voltage and current values. Always operate with proper ground connection. This is to comply with the EMC and safety standards. Make sure the AC ground is connected to a three-prong grounded outlet to properly ground the unit. Thanks for watching Tycon TV and keep an eye out for more of our product videos.